Right. I mean, okay, Barack Obama has done nothing wrong to the people on the left, and he's done nothing right to the people on the right. And it's not the way it works because Obama has done some things right. He's done considerably more wrong than he's done right, but the, the you know, you only hear very seldom, well, you know, this thing is really a good idea. Mm -hmm. Very seldom. And presidents are more, okay, this is the president that doesn't actually govern. He lets the Senate do all his heavy lifting for him, and then if he has problems, he doesn't, he, he doesn't even executive order. He gives suggestions because as, as a suggestion, he cannot be held responsible. He did not give an executive order on the immigration thing. He sent a thing suggesting that this is what they do. And if it's implemented, he's not the one for, responsible for violation, violating acts of law. The, the uh, Janet Napolitano is. Oh, those are those gray areas. That's gray areas, but they're not... Okay, you know how you find out that he didn't do an executive order? How? You go to, like, Bloomberg, which is a financial channel, to find out that, I actually read this, you know, where you go to find out what's in the, um, in the health care bill, you don't go to the news outlets because they don't want anybody to know. Right doesn't want people to know, left doesn't want people to know, so you go to a, 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 the, uh, um, an outlet where they're having to figure out how the business is going to be How it's going to affect them. Yeah. I mean, in I think sometimes people are so busy in their own lives that, you know, they, you get locked into it. It's like, what, whatever, whatever comes across, right, you, you watch one channel, one channel only, yeah. right, then that does happen more often than you would think. Uh, uh, they said it is structured that way because nobody, um, you rely on one news channel. They basically, they're hung up on one set of programming and that's all they're ever going to watch anymore. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't, I mean... I'll maybe I I don't watch network television anymore. I mean I might watch NCIS, you know, and and, and NCIS LA, but I don't watch the other stuff because there's nothing over there that interests me anymore. I don't watch the news because uh, okay, here's the problem with the with the news what it's became on network television. You'll see the same news story being done sometimes exactly at the same time, but they're all going to be done one two three one two three one two three. And Fox really doesn't have a network news presence on regular TV, it's on cable, so. Oh, that's true, they don't. And that's right, so the news thing, but you're getting, it's just like they can, okay, here's the trick, they all work from news pools. And because they're doing a news pool thing, they, uh, they're they reporting on the same information at the very same time. It's just a matter of what, what order they're going to put it in, mm -hmm. because then one might have a, one might have a commercial break and then I would cut to a commercial, then they go to the thing. But mm -hmm. um, this is a god awful, massive, major important election. You need to come out. You're not. You're deciding the future of how you want news reported in this country. Do you want? Yeah. Do you want George Clooney to be the head of network news at NBC, or um, or uh, the Jane Fonda over at ABC? Well, some, and, sometimes you know you might as well live in a different country where the media, what the media says is totally controlled. Yeah, you know, but they don't understand that. I mean, I, I put up a thing the other day when they were really doing this, well, we need this to, to bring those big banks down to their knees and split these and, just, and cut the, cut, you know, and wipe them out and stuff. And I pointed out the fact on my side, then I, I assume that you mean that you want to sign the petition that I would like to sign at Sundance Film Festival that wants the entertainment industry taken over by the government because only the government can fairly run it. I said, you think the government's going to hire you to do the filming? Mm -hmm. You think you're going to be able to do the filming as you want to do it? No, they're going to tell you how it's done. If they're paying the bills, when you basically wipe out big business, you wipe out the people that fund what you're doing. Mm -hmm. and it's the same thing. It's just entertainment divisions feed. The, the news divisions of every network are fed by the entertainment division. That's why you'll see the entertainment people doing news things. You know, they'll, you know, they'll go to, and news people are now going to entertainment related events. And this will, I mean, uh, the, you know, I just think that you need news people doing news, not doing the, you know, uh, you know uh, magic mic parties. Mm -hmm. They're actually, they have news people all over the United States doing magic mic parties Friday. Oh, really? Yeah. That's not what news people are supposed to be doing. That's not news. What is news is the, the what is news is basically 
uh, doing editorials on what the hell happened Thursday. Mm -hmm. Why is the President of the United States avoiding the issue? Why are the Democratic Party avoiding the issue? Why are the Republicans dancing on the top of tables after they just got their ass kicked? Mm -hmm. that, that's news, but they're not doing that. There is so, mm -hmm. um, like I said, this is, you know. This because, is the light and fluffy. But we both, we knew, we're, we're the old news directors. I mean, I got, I, I, I got my diploma in journalism 1961, <laughs> <laughs> and she actually has a minor in journalism, and so uh, we both we we're, we're both parts of a, of a of a system that basically, like I said, she was present reporting on it the day entertainment be, uh, they crossed over to take total control of the news industry. And oh yeah, I remember that because we even had discussions. Yeah, <laughs> we had discussions because I'm like. I know where they are. I want to go all, and they're like, why are you doing that? That's not really, I'm like, well, and I'm sitting there going, it is a story if all those people are doing it. No, she goes, she follows like, Michael Jackson's, you know, last you day, were? you know, goes to where he was his last day, went to where his, all of that home stuff and all the other, this place, we're talking, you know, we're talking Matt Lauer, and we're talking, you know, uh, Brian Williams, and we're talking to main people over at Fox. We're talking to main people that are legitimate news people. Okay, they were what stationed. did Michael Jackson mean to you? They were, because I went to Michael Jackson's house, okay? Yeah. And they were stationed, like they were camped outside the house, around the clock. Yeah. In their, in their tents, and the, you know, and they've got their feeds, and they've got, and they're just waiting. And they're like, oh, this person came in, and I'm sitting there talking to him. Okay, who's been through here? Oh, you know, so and so. We got this and did a. Oh, I mean. Yeah, because you got your little press thing. You go in there and you're talking. You're talking to the, the icons of the in, icons of the news industry. Every major major outlet uh, has the little. They act like paparazzi today. Pure and simple. I mean, even like um, at the courthouse. <laughs> at the Los Angeles courthouse. I remember one of the one of our resources that works for one of the major networks saying, "Oh yeah, they were selling the spots in front of the courthouse." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we know the day that they're okay. Today you also are paying for news you would never pay for news items before. That not did not happen. Well, what would happen was, okay, yeah, uh, okay, here's five bucks. Go get yourself a you know mm -hmm. French fries, something to drink. You know that would be about it. They or here's car fare coming by. But well, today you can get a you can get a million bucks for a hot news item. Well, that's part of it, and because they, well, because they can get paid for a hot news items, um, and because of advertising, because they're all trying to stay in business. Um, with advertisers, they may not make things. Well, let's just say may, they may turn a blind eye okay, to um, some deeper aspects of something. I am from the era when advertisers basically, you know, U.S. Steel Hour, Alcoa Hour. Craft Theater, which basically these companies actually uh, Procter and Gamble. But you know that was to me that was more real because at least if Procter and Gamble was sponsoring the hour, you knew you would have content yeah. that was supportive or that but, Procter and Gamble approved of. But what is happening? Those were those were entertainment shows. Today, advertisers control the content of the news that is going on. And if it is news that they don't approve of, it does not get reported now. And it's not its not like necessarily they they send them the news and they approve of it, but it's like, oh, well, remember, we have an advertiser that's... That this might offend. Yes, this so don't run that. Called, uh, they have a person's standards and practices that will sit there and go over everything before it gets on the air. So. And it's just not news content. In fact, it's magazine content because I've talked to people. They're going like, how do you get this in the magazine? And I've heard PR people say, if you want it in the magazine, take an ad out. They're more likely to mm -hmm. talk to you about a story. Same thing with newspapers. If you want to get a plug for your thing, buy an ad in the, in the news, uh, a newspaper mm -hmm. plugging your book, and you'll get a coverage of it. Mm -hmm. So it's um, it's just like I said, it's a god awful important election because um, it, it it it's just a matter of it's not health care alone, it's not the presidency alone, it's not the Congress of the United States alone. It's how you want to have your news delivered. You want your news yeah. delivered by Ben Affleck at an anchor desk, or do you want your news delivered by uh, someone like 
I mean, okay, Walter Cronkite was left wing. They were all left wing for Christ's sake. Yeah, but, but they didn't. When he got in front of a camera, unless he let his own, he would. Okay, Walter Cronkite. Because they Cronkite, weren't doing editorials and commentary. No, they were he, doing news. He got emotional when he was on assignment. Well, that there was a difference when you're on assignment and you're doing something that is basically coming live. You're, um, it's the same thing like Ben Grauer, you know, when he was there doing when the Hindenburg caught fire coming down, he said, the, you know, started crying the inhumanity of it all. Mm -hmm. He let his emotions, because that was what there. Um, Kurt Gowdy, who won his Emmy, uh, not Kurt Gowdy, but Kurt, what was the gentleman's name that was on for Bible well, Sports for years with them. Uh, but the gentleman over at the, when he basically reporting, and they've all been killed. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, he said a few words live about which could basically have got him fired today. Mm -hmm. But then it was it was emotional, and it was, it was right for the moment. If you're sitting at a desk and you're sitting there reading off of it, and you basically are doing uh, editorials for a political candidate, you might as well be, you know, uh, in, in, instead of you know. Uh, Huntley and Brinkley, you might as well have, uh, like I said, Affleck and Damon sitting there reading the news mm -hmm. because you're not going to get you're not going to get news anymore. You're just going to get what they hand them to read, mm -hmm. like the the movie. What was it? Was it? Anchorman. The Anchorman. Where they, he just read whatever comes off over the teleprompter. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've heard him say that we have <clears throat> political candidates that if you put on a teleprompter, now slowly start to take off your jacket. <laughs> they start reading they'll it? They'll start doing, you know, they'll, oh, okay, and then they said, and then if you, you know, then they start, okay, then they go, boom, 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 they start, okay, now slowly undo your belt buckle. And they would do it because they're, 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 they're plastic people, and this is what we're heading for in the news industry. They're not looking for news people anymore. They're looking for people that basically look good in front of a camera and can rip and read. Mm -hmm. So I guess until we do this again, which we will probably, you know, this is all camera. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.montybubble.net on the net or www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com, which is our new news site. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet. And remember, your vote does count.